If you're someone that struggles with constipation, bloating, inflammation, and stubborn belly fat, then I need you to stick to the end of this video. Today, I'm going to show you how to optimize your gut health with these digestion friendly foods. My name is Dr. Connie and I've helped thousands of women improve their gut health, improve their quality of life, and ultimately reach their weight loss goals. These tips that I'm about to share with you are the secret things that have led to their success. You ready? Let's dive in. What is gut health? Well, gut health, also known as your digestive system, plays an important role into your overall well-being. It can impact your immune system, your mood, your overall well-being, as well as your ability to absorb nutrients in the body. It's super key to getting you healthy. So these couple things that I'm gonna show you, these foods that I'm about to tell you about, we gotta make sure that you're implementing these things into your diet. First up, we got our fermented foods. These are foods like kimchi, kefir, yogurt, sauerkraut. These are great foods because during the fermentation process, they develop healthy bacteria for your gut. Implementing these into your diet will make a significant change into your bloating, your constipation, etc. You can easily, yogurt or something that you can throw into your smoothies, kimchi and uh, sauerkraut is something that you can have with dinner. You want to make sure that you are adding fermented foods into your diet. Another important thing with these fermented foods is that they are packed with probiotics. These are great to help line the inside of your gut and make sure that we have a healthy environment to promote absorption of nutrients. Next up, we got our fiber rich foods. These are gonna be your legumes, your whole grains, your fruits, your vegetables. Getting adequate fiber in your diet will make a significant difference in your constipation. So if you're someone who struggles to go to the bathroom often, we gotta make sure we get enough fiber in our diet. If you're someone who struggles with cravings or you always tend to overeat when it comes to your weight loss goals, getting more fiber in your diet will help with your appetite. It keeps you full longer, gives you the essential things that you need. And again, it really helps with your constipation. So if you're someone who is struggling to use the restroom, getting adequate fiber in your diet will make a significant change. Aim for four to five servings of fruits and vegetables as you go throughout your day. Number three, we got our prebiotics. Now these are the foods like your onions, your garlic, your asparagus. These foods are great because they help feed your probiotics that we were just talking about. They help with the growth of that healthy bacteria in your gut. On top of that, we talked about the immune function and how a healthy gut can help improve your immune system. A food like garlic, garlic has a billion good properties to help with your immune system, whether it's fighting off inflammation or keeping you healthy. So you wanna make sure that you're implementing these foods to help with your gut. If you're finding this video helpful and you need some healthy gut-friendly meals, what I want you to do is check out the description to take a look at my different meal plans. I took care of all of the information that I'm talking to you about on this video, and I created recipes that will not only help you improve your gut health, but reach your weight loss goals. We got options for those who are lacking more protein in our diet. We got a high protein meal plan. For those who are more on the vegan side and you don't necessarily have a carnivore diet, we got vegan options for you as well. Or if you're someone who just wants to work so you want a bunch of options, sometimes you eat vegan, sometimes you eat a carnivore diet, the meal prep bundle is gonna be amazing for you. This will ensure that you are not only improving your gut health, but reaching your weight loss goals and ultimately improving your quality of life. So be sure to check out that description so that you can head over and grab your meal plan. The ladies who've used our meal plans have been able to lose one to two pounds a week minimum just following the guidelines. Be sure to go grab yours. Number four, getting more hydrating foods into your diet. These things can look like watermelon, cucumbers, or celery. Having more water in your diet has many benefits. Two, quick and simple benefits. One, it can help reduce your headaches. If there is high blood pressure, if that's something that you're dealing with, 
Getting more water in your diet can help improve that significantly. Hydration can help with cramping and muscle fatigue. Hydration can help with a multitude of things. So make sure that you're getting more, not only just more foods that have water in them, but overall more water in your diet, period. You wanna aim for at least six cups of water every single day. Last but not least, the two things that you gotta add to your diet are ginger and peppermint. These two can significantly help improve your digestive system. Ginger specifically can help with bloating and constipation. Peppermint can help with your nausea. So you wanna make sure that you're implementing some ginger and peppermint into your diet that may look like peppermint tea, or if you're cooking, adding some ginger to your diet. There's a, um, a gut health drink that I like to use when for inflammation. It is some turmeric, black pepper to activate the turmeric, a little bit of ginger for some of those anti-inflammatory properties and some almond milk. It does me wonders. So that's just one way to piece all these things together to ensure that you're having a healthy digestive system. All right, so you may be wondering to yourself, how can I incorporate all these things? I just gave you a quick example, but simple ways, if you're thinking breakfast, what about a high protein smoothie that's utilizing some yogurt? That way we're getting that probiotic and that fermented food. Or let's say we're eating lunch. Now we wanna add some sauerkraut or kimchi or um, a protein with a bunch of vegetables and fruit. This is where you gotta get creative to start integrating these things together to make sure that you're implementing these different foods throughout your day. By doing so, this will ensure that you get a healthy gut, reduce your bloating, reduce your constipation, improve your mood, and feel amazing. Well, that's it. I just wanna say thank you for sticking to the end of this video. There's a playlist that's popping up. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out that playlist so that you can continue to learn and improve your quality of life. Till next time, peace.